the reason why the Jeju Island is so ideal for tea, it's copious rainfall. So you don't need separate irrigation, right? So with climate change, we know one of the biggest challenges for farmers is just it drought conditions. You're not getting enough water, right? And so mm -hmm. there's no problem like this on Jeju Island. It's just co copious amounts of rainfall that are irrigating the land. And then it's a volcanic soil. There's a, a Hala Mountain. It's a volcano. The volcanic soil is very permeable. So it allows for that drainage. And then mm -hmm. when you implement regenerative practices, you're actually creating a rich microbial or microbiome within the ground. Animals, everything from birds, bees, like we just, it's just so rich with wildlife. A lot of deer come in. Um, we had geese on the property. So the interesting thing is when you plant the, the tea by seed, it was already amidst weeds and grasses. So yeah. it's a constant battle. And mm. um, the, the reason why that was done is so that if the tea, just like competition, right? If yeah. it can overcome the grass, if it can overcome the weeds, then it will be much stronger in the mm. long term, right? Mm. And we all go yeah. through that playing sports, that, that, that process. So um, the geese played an awesome role. And the reason why we have it in our, in our logo here, we have the geese yeah. here, is because when the tea seeds were just sprouting and very young, the geese would go in and eat everything but the tea because they don't like the tea. A caffeinated yeah. goose is like a horror story waiting to happen. <laughs>